All right, so welcome to chapter 10, motion in a plane. So this is not motion in an aeroplane, but it's motion in a plane. A plane is a two-dimensional surface. Although there, has, there is some reference to motion in an aeroplane. Okay, but anyway, don't get confused there. Okay, so we're looking at motion in a plane. In other words, uh, motion in two dimensions, as I just mentioned. Haha, <laughs> did you get that? Mention, dimension. Okay, two dimensions. We're looking at that. Um, and when we uh, begin to look at motion in, in two dimensions or motion in a plane, we will see how to do a couple of things. How to deal with vector quantities uh, in two dimensions. Okay? Meaning that you can add them up, um, you can add up x and y components or vertical and horizontal components. And we will see that if we have a vector, how do we decompose uh, a, a force vector into its two dimensional components? Okay? All right, so, but we'll get to that um, uh, in the next couple of videos. So the first thing here we want to see is straight is a relative term. Okay? So what we have been looking at so far up until now is that all our motion is in a straight line, either horizontally or vertically. Sometimes we've seen motion down an incline, but the point is it's a straight line. Okay? Now... Um, what they say here is that straight is actually a relative term, meaning um, it depends on the reference frame that you're looking at something that's moving in a so-called straight line. So let's have a look here at, um, you've got a cart here with a ball, okay? There's a little ball on this uh, cart, and the cart is moving to the right, and then as it m starts moving, they drop the ball, Okay? And as you can see in this frame, it's in this position, in the next frame. Okay, so it seems these two are still uh, at the same position. And then this one, it starts to move to the right, more to the right, more to the right, more to the right. So the cart is moving to the right in, an, in the Earth reference frame. Okay, so you're not attached to the cart. You're looking at the cart from the Earth reference frame. Um, but, but it's interesting. Look at what's happening to the ball. The ball, in every frame, is just, with, is just it's going down, but it's remaining with the cart. So now what would happen if you were standing on the cart and moving with the cart? What would you see? You, this is what you would see. The cart doesn't move because you're, you're in the same reference frame as that velocity. Okay, you're moving at that same velocity, and what you would see is straight line motion down. Okay? So, okay, I hope you're not too confused, but this is really what we're trying to say here. Is that in the cart's reference frame, okay, every, every next step, all you see is the ball moving down, um, like free fall motion. Okay? Whereas in the Earth reference frame, <coughs> You see it having this kind of projectile motion. Okay? And what you'll find is that in this reference frame, um, this, the velocity of this ball has two components. It's got a vertical component and a horizontal component. And the vertical component we know of, we've dealt with that before, that's free fall. Okay, so that's the vertical component. Um, and the horizontal component is exactly the same motion as the cart. So the cart was going at a constant velocity. So the horizontal component, when you have this kind of motion, the horizontal component was the of velocity of the ball is exactly the same as the cart. Okay. So we see that straight is a relative term, one that depends on the reference frame. Okay. All right. So um, let's do this checkpoint in the next problem.